welcome. We are now stretched, relaxed, and ready to see some more AVD videos. Uh, as you know, we have a total of six sessions. This is the second session, and we will see contributions uh, from Europe, from Africa, from North and South America. The videos this afternoon have a strong focus on innovative policies. As you know, we look for practices and policies, and policies are standards, laws, and regulation, which have a big impact on big parts of society. They're sometimes not so easy to detect, but we think uh, we have a good selection of best policies which are worth looking at and maybe also scaling and implementing somewhere else. But let's start with the first set of the videos right now. Please start. What is one on one about? Program shows the effectiveness of the combination of training on a disability center with uh, on the job uh, training for those groups of persons with disabilities more vulnerable, like youth or persons with intellectual and psychosocial disabilities, usually inactive. What is unique and innovative about one-on-one? One-on-one -on -one? One -on -one is unique because it was co-created and tested in persons with disabilities through a pilot project in 2014. Now has high capillarity reaching rural areas and raising awareness on labor inclusion for persons with disabilities at local level among small and medium enterprises. How did this solution change your life? Porque esta, esto, lo bueno de estos cursos, la formación que te aportan es que te permiten subir por así decirlo perdaños y acercarte más a un trabajo que a ti te pueda gustar. How does one on one work? The Ombre Foundation is an intermediate body of the European Social Fund, so the program is co-financed by the Ombre Foundation and the European Social Fund through the operational programs of youth, employment and social inclusion and social economy. What is next for One on One? In the future, our goal is to find new funding sources to be able to finance all viable projects because ESF funding ends at 2023. And also we have in mind to develop a grant code, link it or to tackle the digital gap. What is FUA Vita about? My name is Aniti Gerana Isaya. I'm a CEO and founder of FUA Vita. The initial element of this innovation is to empower women with disability by using economic training skills manual, theoretical and the practical after training the women with disability, they engage themselves in economic generation model by making different goods, uh, by making different goods like making wine, peanut butter, mango pico, etc. They self, they self, the, the product in money for living. This hinder the women with disability from engaging in big activity or depending to their relatives and friends. How does FUA Vita work? We always depending on grant making funding, fund from different donors. 
We do not have specific financial sources. What is unique and innovative about Fua Vita? This project is unique and very necessary, needed because most of the disabled farmers live in a very poor condition in Tanzania. Therefore, empowering women with disability through economic generation will enable them to earn money for living. I come up with this innovation after I experienced discrimination during job thinking after completing my university education. Many organizations rejected to hire me due to my deafness. Therefore, I come up with this innovation to solve the challenge of employment among women with disability here in Tanzania. What is next for Fua Vida? Our future plan is to expand our innovation by opening online center for learning so that we can reach many women with disability here in Tanzania and out of Tanzania and empower them through ICT technology on economic generation skills. How did this solution help you? My name is Anet Dem. I am the beneficiary of this project. This project is special because it supports women with disability to hire themselves and the earn money for living. I was jobless and depending to my family for everything, but, for, but after Fua Vita gave me the special training about economic generation skills, I started a small business and now I can control my life myself without my family. Since then, my life has changed and I can now pay tuition fees for my children and earn money for a living. Thank you very much for Vita for supporting me. What is KFF about? Essential elements of our innovation include providing people with disability with technical skills and funding to initiate and boost small businesses and workplace behavior that's help them to become effective entrepreneurs or employees. How does KFF work? We have received an award from Echoing Green and financial support from the United States African Development Foundation. And secondly, we sell tickets for our events and conferences. Third, we are actually developing a platform that will help uh, disabled entrepreneurs to advertise and sell their products will mobilize our community, Congolese community, uh, wherever they are, to support them by buying their product and services so that we can take small commission on sale. What is unique and innovative about KFF? I'm coming from the community that I serve. I know how living with disability is in Congo, especially where the states hasn't yet designed policies that are in line with uh, UN Convention to increase access uh, of people with disability to social services and business opportunities. What is next for KFF? In Congo, we estimate about 10 million people who are living with disability and we need to reach at least 1 million by 2030 and also uh, raise necessary funding so that we can support our current fellows 
who have not yet started their businesses. How did the solution help you? I'm Dr. Amanda. Um, I am one of the beneficiaries of the um, Aduago Family Foundation, and uh, I did not know that I could register a non-profit organization, but with the skills set uh, from the Kaduago Family Foundation, I am the CEO and founder of the Manda Institute for Counseling Services today. So I really like the program. I've been empowered and I continue to be empowered by skills. You know, I am older, I'm not all that young, but, you know, and the technical stuff seemed to be quite difficult for me, but uh, Mr. Kaduako has mentored me through and today I can do a lot of things. What is Isle of Coffee about? We use coffee to break the communication barrier between the hearing and the deaf. And we do this by training deaf baristas, chefs, and placing them in our corporate cafes. What is unique and innovative about I Love Coffee? We've created a unique third space where customers can learn to sign as part of their coffee experience. We set out trying to create a few jobs for some deaf people, but we've learned our biggest impact is creating awareness around the social issues facing the deaf community and uh, creating role models for the deaf community themselves. How did this solution change your life? How does I Love Coffee work? We have a hybrid business model, so we receive grant money to buy equipment through our nonprofit, and we provide training through our nonprofit. But most of our income is generated through trading, which helps us pay salaries and overheads. What is next for I Love Coffee? and we're focusing on developing our e-learning courses where we'll teach people in sign language. What is Inclusion Mauritius about? So the project enabled the professional and social integration of persons with intellectual disabilities who are our beneficiaries. Training consisted of theoretical parts, practical parts, and we even did living situation training where we were taught to get integrated socially and professionally as well. How does Inclusion Mauritius work? The project is funded by a governmental institution, which is the NSIF, the National Social Inclusion Foundation, and we will collaborate with the private sector, engaging private employers to get into the training, give us their expertise, and also employ our youngsters. What is unique and innovative about Inclusion Mauritius? The project consisted of a twin approach solution where it addressed the needs of the candidates and of the employers as well. The fact that even the employees' needs were addressed, they felt so at ease to work with persons with intellectual disabilities for the first time. And this made the project very innovative because finally all the parties knew they were being followed up and they got coaching and counselling at the same time to make it happen. How did this solution change your life? Hello, my name is Ingrid. I am 35 years old. After skilling training, 
I started my internship at, a, at Alapeim as a receptionist. My job is to welcome people and answering the telephone. The training had me more confident and independent and has changed my life. What are individual transition plans about? We are talking about innovations that we call individual transition plan and we develop that in the three levels. Level one, second level and third level because it, how to say, uh, the need to have some kind of continuous enrollment of children with special education needs and their transition from elementary to the secondary school. ITP1, then ITP2 that over communication between uh, secondary school and uh, how to say uh, some enterprises and after that ITP3 that combine uh, communication between secondary schools and the university. However, I want to say that uh, uh, the idea is to improve communication between schools, pupils, teachers and their parents. How do individual transition plans work? This initiative that came from the school, Ministry of uh, Education, and the financing uh, was or, uh, on the regular basis or through the standards. What is unique and innovative about individual transition plans? Parents told us that they need something for their children to uh, make more uh, qualitative and efficient process of uh, inclusive education in a way to make, uh, how to say, gentle transition from elementary to the secondary school, but especially to put into the real life the uh, competencies and their skills in order to make some kind of improvement. What's next for individual transition plans? In general, our idea and our findings and how to say uh, uh, that area of follow-up activities is oriented to the strengthening of teachers' competencies, but more than everything, to further develop so-called coaching model, uh, 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 in a way to really be uh, present in everyday life of teachers and, of course, of students, in a way to put in real, real life all of ITPs, ITP1, ITP2, and ITP2. What is Supported Employment Service about? The Supported Employment Service enables employment for persons with disabilities. We match the employee and the employer. And we provide support for them both from the beginning and as long as needed. Via our service, a person can find a career and employers can find solutions to their workforce needs. How does Supported Employment Service work? We are a part of the Social and Healthcare Division at the City of Helsinki. We have a permanent budget funding. It's cost-free for the service user and the employer. What is unique and innovative about Supported Employment Service? The service was established in 1995, being the first service in Finland to provide individual supported employment and a gate to work life for persons with disabilities. It is a service that has been operating for 25 years and has evolved to be more efficient and to match the needs of today's work life. Today, the key is not only to serve the service user, but to see that we must see the employer as a customer and provide solutions to the needs of them both. What's next for supported employment service? Right now, we're taking part to a national program in the years 20 to 23 aimed to increase the employment of people with disabilities and also strengthening the services. In Helsinki, by this program, we are offering 
the service for a larger amount of service users. And we, we are also developing a method to find even more individualized paths to work. How did this solution help you? Hello everyone. My name is Rasmus Oliver Ellenberg. I work for Circlum Pur Pharmacia. The service has helped me in numerous formalities when seeking employment. For example, figuring out what sort of job would suit me, making a small presentation of myself, helping out with job interviews, filling out forms, signing contracts, and etc. Congratulations to all our winners. Well deserved and really, really appreciated by the whole Zero Project Network. This afternoon we have a remote guest. Uh, Carola Rubia Duran is joining us from Santiago de Chile. Good morning to you, Carola. How are you? I'm fine, uh, Wilfred. Thank you very much for uh, allowing me to be here with you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Carola, let's start. Uh, please describe a little bit uh, what you do and, uh, and uh, what your goals are. Well, first of all, um, for those who cannot see me, um, I'm a woman with a white skin, a bit tan because of, uh, it was summertime over here, uh, with brown hair and with uh, red uh, glasses. Um, Fundación Descúbreme is a, is a Chilean non-profit organization founded in uh, 2010 with the mission to promote the inclusion of people with cognitive disabilities in all areas of human development. In order to achieve our purpose, we have focused on promoting the rights of people with cognitive disabilities and we have encouraged good practices regarding cognitive disabilities and so social inclusion both nationally and also internationally. Thank you, Carola. We just saw the videos. We had a couple of, uh, of practices from, uh, from Africa and then two policies. A brief comment, what stayed in your mind? Well, personally, I believe we have seen a great example of how diverse the work of for inclusion we count in different places around the world. Uh, we have seen governments and entities, social businesses, non-profit organizations, foundations, uh, all of them with the same goal to, the, to live in a society that is is inclusive for everyone. Eh? And we have also seen that employment uh, of people with disabilities is possible in all kinds of industry when we are able to provide the appropriate support. Therefore, I, I would like to take the opportunity to congratulate each and every one of the Zero Project Awardees of 2021 for their amazing work, uh, Wilfred. Carlo, we have this Zero Project and Fundación Descubre May. We have this wonderful cooperation going on, and, and thanks to your activities and conferences, we get a lot of nominations and uh, practices and policies from Latin America. Can you give us some examples for the, for the success? We are very excited about it. We have done a study work in Latin America for the last two years, and the numbers have increased significantly. Significantly, this year, uh, ten of the awardees uh, come from Latin America, and some of the projects are very close to our hearts. For example, Pacto Productividad, an initiative led by Fundación Corona and the IDB Lab in Colombia, has been recognized by Zero Project. Um, they have successfully implemented a, co a collaborative model of inclusive employment for 12 years. Uh, at Fundación Descubreme, we are now replicating this model in Chile with the support of both Fundación Corona and also the IDDV Lab. Another initiative we are very excited about is Egalité, Inclusion and Diversity. Egalité is a Brazilian social business that has developed an online recruitment platform fully adapted for people with disabilities. Through our collaborative approach, Egalité will be replicating this online recruitment platform in Chile in Chilean, in Chilean companies starting in the second semester of this year. Uh, a third example, if you allow me, is Seco Chile, social business I have known for many years, of which I have been a user. 
Tegotilla offers ecological car washing services that use no water to businesses or people across Chile. Over 55% of their employees are people with disabilities, and I know they are already in conversation to replicate uh, in other countries. Last but not least, um, Alianza Centrale, an initiative created by the Mexican Business Council. Alianza Centrale promotes inclusive employment among mm -hmm. its members and provides resources and tools to companies that support them. One of these tools is a labor inclusion index, very interesting, which assesses trains and certified companies as inclusive. And I have to say they're all, these are just some of the sample. I wish we have more time to talk about more of these amazing models. Thank you, Carola. It's late summer in, uh, in Chile. Uh, how is the COVID situation in, uh, in Chile right now? Well, as it has happened all over the world, COVID has affected almost every aspect of our lives and most certainly the way we work. We have been working remotely uh, for almost a year and we have had to reinvent almost everything that we do to keep working for our mission to promote people with disability at all levels. Fortunately, we can begin to see the light at the end of the tunnel with the arrival of the vaccines at the start of the massive vaccination campaigns in, here in Chile. However, this pandemic has also shown us that our work can be done different, differently. So now it is time to be flexible, to be active, to, be, to adapt to new and alternative ways of working. All the above under, obviously, an inclusive environment. Thank you so much, Carola. It's really a pity that you cannot join us here as you did last year, and we're looking forward uh, to meeting in person anytime soon. Uh, I won't keep you any longer because you have a keynote speech in the, in the next hour, so thank you very much for joining, but please, if you have time, let us, take us uh, a look with us at the second part of the videos. Thank you for coming. What is the Training for Work program about? La innovación central del programa Fórmate para el Trabajo en su línea de discapacidad no es solo la formación o la capacitación técnica adecuada a las necesidades y a la realidad de cada una de estas personas, sino que es el acompañamiento profesional que ellas tienen a lo largo del proceso de formación y más importante, a lo largo del proceso de inserción laboral. How does Training for Work program work? El modelo de negocio del programa consiste en que los ejecutores, quienes capacitan, quienes forman, son instituciones privadas, sean fundaciones, empresas o instituciones de educación superior con experiencia en la formación de personas con discapacidad que se seleccionan a partir de licitaciones públicas. Y el financiamiento a esas instituciones viene del Estado a través del Servicio Nacional de Capacitación y Empleo. What is unique and innovative about training for work program? La gran innovación de este programa junto con su forma de operación, que es a través de una alianza pública privada que permite rescatar las buenas prácticas del sector privado y amplificarlas con financiamiento fiscal para que tengan un alcance nacional, es el hecho de considerar que la capacitación o la formación no es por sí sola suficiente para que una persona con discapacidad pueda encontrar un trabajo sino que se requiere también un proceso de acompañamiento y de inserción laboral para poder llevar y guiar a esa persona y a esa empresa o a ese empleador en el proceso en que esa nueva persona se inserta en el trabajo. What's next for training for work program? En adelante, nuestro compromiso con el programa va en dos líneas. Primero, en aprender de cuáles son las otras barreras que hoy día nos estemos visualizando que afectan que una persona no puede acceder al trabajo y hacernos cargo de esas barreras en futuras iteraciones de este programa. Y lo segundo es en recoger las buenas prácticas de lo que instituciones o ejecutores privados ya han realizado y con ellas poder formar y compartir con el resto de los ejecutores e instituciones privados para que ellos a su vez también puedan implementar esas buenas prácticas en sus propios procesos de formación. How did the solution help you? Sí, yo me gustó. 
Todo lo que aprendimos con el profe, torta de yogur, cheesecake, pizza, así, empanadas. Sí, eh, que son buenos, sirven sí, para aprender alto, para capacitarse y para salir adelante. Y por eso lo hice yo el curso. Más adelante me gustaría tener una, como una pyme, así, como comía, toda la comida chilena, así, ya, para What is PEAT about? Our vision at PEAT is a world where all technologies are born accessible so that everyone can succeed in their careers, including people with disabilities. So at PEAT, we foster collaborations that actually make these emerging tools accessible. These are tools like artificial intelligence, autonomous vehicles, and extended reality tools like VR, virtual reality, and augmented reality, AR. And we work with the actual developers and designers of these tools to make the next generation of technologies accessible. So we uh, try to influence national and state policies toward inclusion. And then we also host a resource website um, with practical guidance for businesses on how to make their workplaces more inclusive and accessible. How does Pete work? The United States Department of Labor's Office of Disability Employment Policy funds a core team at Wheelhouse Group to work on the PEAT initiative. What is unique and innovative about PEAT? What makes PEAT unique is our role in organizing collaborations across sectors. We connect and learn from a diverse group of stakeholders, including technology leaders, disability advocates, uh, businesses, uh, people in workforce development, and academics. What is next for Pete? Emerging technologies are being developed now and are quickly making their way into workplaces. This urgency is why we are working with different initiatives who share a common vision. We plan to continue to scale these initiatives up so that in the future, all technology is built to be accessible by design. How did this solution help you? My name is Arthur Sharif. I'm the founder and researcher at Evox Labs, software engineer at Comcast, and a PhD student at the University of Washington. I have been personally involved with Pete's Think Tank and the Teach Access Study Away program. Uh, both of these programs brought like-minded people together, including students, professionals in industry and academia, government officials, and policymakers, and fostered fruitful and meaningful collaborations. The state of the accessible technologies is considerably better than it was a few years ago and Pete has helped make that happen. What is post-secondary education initiative about? A variety of innovative educational and vocational training programs have recently been developed in Vermont that include high school vocational training, university-based programs, and lifelong learning for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. The State of Vermont Transition and Post-Secondary Education Consortium supports and coordinates these 20 programs to unify missions and service commonalities and ensure success. What is unique and innovative about post-secondary education initiative? The state of Vermont closed its state institution for people with developmental disabilities in 1993, and the last shelter workshop closed in 2002. Vermont has a long history of community inclusion for people with developmental disabilities. With the closure of these institutions, energy and resources are focused on innovative and inclusive programs to improve the transition and education of young adults, leading to increased and enhanced community-based employment. How did this solution change your life? I think college is special because you have mentors who can help you with your assignments. What I got out of it is all the mentors helping me out with my assignments and being patient with me. And it changed my life because I am passing 
all my classes. How does post-secondary education initiative work? We believe in absolute inclusion for all people with disabilities in education and employment. These innovative vocational transition and post-secondary education programs are financed with a combination of school funding, state and federal government funding, and private funds. What is next for post-secondary education initiative? These programs are showing significant impact on the students as well as the general community. We plan to collaborate with the University of Vermont to increase research on long-term outcomes. We'll also establish an ongoing funder and program task force to, su to sustain and expand funding and post-secondary education options. What is NYC at Work about? NYC at Work is an alternative workforce development model. We act as convener for all the entities involved in employment, but we start with the businesses and we ask them where are the jobs. We've created a coalition of provider agencies, state VR agencies, our disability and career development offices at both our city and private colleges because they have access to the talent. And then we have this untapped talent pipeline, unconnected job seekers looking for the best opportunity to be able to find a job and a career and a living wage. How does NYC at Work work? In terms of funding, the original funding was for staff and that funding came from the POSIS Family Foundation the Kessler Foundation, uh, Craig H. Nielsen Foundation, Institute for Career Development, New York State Education Department, Access VR, and the Mayor's Fund to Advance New York City. Now the five staff lines originally hired are now transitioned into the New York City Workforce Development Office so that they are permanent. That was always part of our plan so we could provide sustainability. What is unique and innovative about NYC at work? NYC at Work is our response to the unemployment rate for people with disabilities that has not changed in 30 years. We needed a system-wide alternative approach to workforce development for people with disabilities, and that is NYC at Work. What is next for NYC at Work? Now our major focus is providing access to technology, to infrastructure, and to internet connectivity so that we can provide trainings certification opportunities, jobs, a professional network to New Yorkers with disabilities, so that they have access to the tools that they need to be able to be successful in this 21st century workforce. How did this solution help you? NYC at work has changed my life because today I'm working for uh, an agency and doing a job that I've always wanted to do. And it was because of them but in the, in the prep and the resume that, uh, that, that helped me to achieve the, the goal that I've always wanted to, to be a, a counselor and working for TSI New York today. I appreciate that and thank you. What is Providencia Labor Inclusion Program about? Hola, mi nombre es Solange Montaldo. Estoy a cargo del Departamento de Empleo de la Municipalidad de Providencia y hoy les quiero contar acerca de nuestro programa de inclusión laboral. Este programa busca promover la inclusión laboral de personas en situación de discapacidad que están en búsqueda de un empleo en el mercado laboral abierto y además apoyar a las empresas en la búsqueda de este perfil ideal para promover la diversidad y la inclusión dentro de su organización. How does Providencia Labor Inclusion Program work? 
Nuestro programa de inclusión laboral se basa en la metodología de empleo con apoyo y es financiado directamente por la Municipalidad de Providencia y a través del Estado por medio del Servicio Nacional de Capacitación y Empleo conocido como CENSE. What is unique and innovative about Providencia Labor Inclusion Program? surge en el año 2013 debido a la demanda de personas en situación de discapacidad a nuestros servicios de intermediación y nos dimos cuenta que no contábamos con los servicios necesarios y especializados para atenderlo, por lo cual decidimos crear este programa. Las características esenciales son, por una parte, eh, la accesibilidad, lo cual permite que cualquier persona en situación de discapacidad pueda atenderse en nuestro departamento y también la articulación territorial, lo que nos permite estar conectados con el área de salud, área de desarrollo social, educación, etcétera, otras instituciones, empresas con el fin de poder brindar la atención necesaria para facilitar la plena inclusión de las personas con discapacidad. What's next for Providencia Labor Inclusion Program? En el futuro queremos expandir nuestros servicios de atención a las empresas, orientando y acompañando en el proceso de construcción de políticas de diversidad e inclusión con el fin de que paulatinamente sean las mismas empresas las que favorezcan la inclusión laboral dentro de sus organizaciones. How did this help you? Hola, soy Sofía Celedón, trabajo en farmacia hace tres años. Gracias al programa de inclusión me ha ayudado a ser más independiente y ayudar en mi casa, en mi familia. Eh, trabajo en farmacia como reponedora eh, y poniendo productos y poniendo precios. Muchas gracias. What is SEED about? The U.S. Department of Labor's Office of Disability Employment Policy created the State Exchange on Employment and Disability to help states and local policymakers implement inclusive workforce development policies that address barriers and improve opportunities for all individuals. SEED works with leading intermediate organizations whose members are state and local government representatives to ensure Policymakers have the tools and resources they need to develop and implement grassroots level policy that advances the employment success of people with disabilities. SEED develops and disseminates member driven resources designed to meet state distinct needs. How does SEED work? The program's funding source is a 100% federal, none of which generates inco income. What is unique and innovative about SEED? SEED is unique. The only federal, state, and local government collaborative that focuses on inclusivity and universally designed policy. The SEED model is responsive and flexible, which lends itself to great innovation and in helping improve the quality of opportunity for life and life for all Americans. What is next for SEED? Given the impact of COVID-19 on work in the workforce, as well as the changing nature of work and the workforce, SEED will continue to support its partners as well as policymakers in developing and implementing inclusive workforce policies that take into account our nation's civil rights legislation and policies. How did this solution help you? I'm Senator John Hoffman from Minnesota. SEED has proven an important policy resource for creating equity and accessibility for everyone. Understanding how to meet individuals and legislators and helping them is one of their greatest gifts. You know, SEED was tracking the work I was doing on equity for people with disabilities right here in Minnesota within our state agencies. They noted articles in the local Star Tribune and reached out to my Senate office to provide assistance Free of charge.
What is Sena about? Única entidad de formación profesional integral que adopta políticas para la población con discapacidad, permitiendo adaptabilidad, flexibilidad, tanto en la formación como en su vínculo laboral y dando oportunidades en la parte de vinculación, emprendimiento y otros servicios socioeconómicos a esta población. How does SENA work? Esta iniciativa se ejecutó con el presupuesto ordinario de la entidad, no requirieron recursos adicionales ni diferentes a los de la entidad. Además, los procesos de formación que ofrece el SENA son gratuitos y garantizan las herramientas adecuadas para las personas con discapacidad. What is unique and innovative about SENA? Una mirada global a la inclusión, un vínculo especial con, las, con el sector empresarial del país y accesibilidad y flexibilidad en la formación profesional integral. What is next for SENA? Ser la primera institución de formación profesional integral que pueda llegar a una gran cantidad de población discapacitada fortaleciendo objetivos específicos en aspectos tales como ingreso y selección de aspirantes, ajustes a los diseños curriculares y desarrollos, identificación y definición e implementación de estrategias pedagógicas y disposición en ayudas técnicas, tecnológicas para el desarrollo adecuado de los procesos de formación, emprendimiento, evaluaciones para la población y su diversidad. How did this solution help you? Me hace crecer como persona, también tener el eh, aprender lo que es el aporte, lo que es a la casa y obtener mis propias cosas personales. Eh, también pues lo que es devolver un poco a la sociedad, a la sociedad lo que me brindan, tanto aquí como en la empresa, como en el SENA. Uno de los mayores beneficios es lo que es coger el transporte, tener eh, la inspiración de, de sentirme pues, yo mismo, de creer en mí mismo y de lo que he venido logrando a nivel familiar es que, que ellos crean y me y ha tenido el respeto de cada uno de ellos. Congratulations to all winners. Swipe links to I appreciate your work and your efforts. We are broadcasting live here from our studio in Vienna and we will have tomorrow more videos from Evodies at 10 a.m. and at 3 p.m. Central European time. Please stretch your legs but stay with us after a short break. We will continue with keynotes amongst others from Carola Rubia we've just seen. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye.